Let's talk Hypercar news, as iconic French team Pescarolo Sport confirm that they will indeed race in the new Hypercar class with a customer LMH provided by French automaker Peugeot. So this is everything you need to know on Pescarolo's Le Mans Hypercar entry for 2024. Yes, you heard me correctly. Pescarolo is expected to return to Le Mans and the World Endurance Championship in 2024, racing in the new top category, the Hypercar class. Recently, a rumor has been circulating that Pescarolo Sport is negotiating a deal with an already existing LMH team to run a customer entry of their car. And now, the rumors have become confirmed. Pescarolo will race a customer Peugeot 9x8 hypercar. This is expected to be the exact same Le Mans hypercar that Peugeot has already been running from 2022 to this day, meaning it's the same car design, same 2.6 liter V6 engine, same seven speed sequential gearbox, the list goes on from here. Basically, the only difference between the factory Peugeot entries and the customer Peugeot entries is the naming itself. 2024 is targeted to be the year for the company's return to endurance racing. The French team is expected to run a single entry in 2024. However, a second customer 9x8 could appear. I'm thinking that there will be a full season Pescarolo Peugeot for the World Endurance Championship and a second entry will come around at Le Mans. Kinda like what Glickenhaus is doing with the 708 running a full season and the 709 making a one-off appearance at Le Mans. Pescarolo Sport is no longer under ownership from Henry Pescarolo, who is credited as the founder of Pescarolo Sport. Henry unfortunately doesn't have any involvement in this return to Le Mans and endurance racing in general. The rights to Pescarolo Sport were actually acquired by Jocelyn Pedrono around 2016, and he and the Pescarolo Sport team intend to bring this iconic team back to sports car racing. Now, I say return, so has Pescarolo Sport been in endurance racing previously? Well, I can confidently say yes. Pescarolo Sport definitely has history, especially at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, and even for a time was considered a team to win the overall honors at the Circuit de la Sarthe. In 2000, Henry Pescarolo founded Pescarolo Sport, and in their very first Le Mans, the Courage C52 Pescarolo took fourth overall, just behind the three winning Audis. In 2005, Pescarolo competitively took the fight to Audi at Le Mans, with the two C60 entries qualifying first and second. In the race, the Audi R8s beat them in reliability and consistency, but one of the Pescarolos finished second overall. Pescarolo then followed 2005 with two more overall podiums, and in 2007, they started to make their own chassis. The Pescarolo 01 took third overall that same year. In 2009, Pescarolo partnered with Peugeot to run a privateer 908. Doesn't that seem a little familiar to what's going on now? The number 17 entry seemed competitive, and another Le Mans podium was in sight. Unfortunately, a crash which ultimately took it out of contention ruined their chances of a Le Mans podium. 2012 was the last appearance of Pescarolo Sport at Le Mans. Pescarolo did appear throughout the WEC season, even taking third at Sebring. At Le Mans, Henry and the team entered a single Pescarolo 03 and a Pescarolo run dome entry. Unfortunately, neither car finished the event. As you can tell, Pescarolo Sport definitely has history in endurance racing, especially at Le Mans. It's quite interesting because Pescarolo Sport and Peugeot have always seemed to have connections through their Le Mans adventures. From their foundation in 2000 to the year 2003, Pescarolo's entries were powered by turbocharged Peugeot engines. Then, in 2009, a customer Peugeot 908 was ran by Pescarolo Sport during the 2009-24 hours of Le Mans, which I mentioned a moment ago. So there is no doubt in my mind that this is the right way to go for Pescarolo's deal with Peugeot for 2024. Speaking with Endurance Info, Peugeot had this to say on the matter. After several exchanges, Pescarolo Sport decided to set up a project to enter the WEC Championship with a Peugeot 9x8. 
and we are proud that Pescarolo Sport has chosen our hypercar. The project is evolving quickly with the right partners and experienced people, and we are ready to provide them with a 9x8 and the necessary technical support. We hope that the Pescarolo Sport project will take shape as early as 2024. So as you can tell, it seems like Peugeot are on board with this, and it seems like it's just a matter of time before this entry hits the track. Now, this isn't 100% happening, as Pescarolo Sport still need to finalize a few things, such as financial support from sponsors and such. Kinda like how Sony and Pescarolo partnered in the early 2000s. But I would say that this is likely to happen. Pescarolo is returning to endurance racing. The WEC and Le Mans entering in the hypercar class with a customer Peugeot 9x8 hypercar. So what do you think of this news? Are you excited to see a Peugeot customer entry on the WEC grid in 2024 and it being supplied to none other than the iconic French brand Pescarolo Sport? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section. If you're interested in endurance racing and you want to get updates on the WEC and IMSA, make sure to subscribe to the left. And if you want to see more videos, watch one of the suggested options to the right of your screen. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.